Hey, what's up? It's Aaron. Welcome back to the Aaron LeBauer Show. Today, we're going to talk about six ways to build monthly recurring revenue. Welcome to the Aaron LeBauer Show. This is the number one show for passionate physical therapy and healthcare entrepreneurs looking to level up their income and impact on the world. If that's you, then you're in the right place. So sit back, chill out, and let's get into the show. And why you should have an MRR program. So this is one of the first episodes where I'm going to dive deep into some tactical stuff. So maybe get out a pen and paper, or maybe you're going to want to listen to this again. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the podcast or subscribe on YouTube, um, wherever you listen, so that you are sure to get um, access and, uh, and a notification when the next episodes come out, because we've got a few episodes coming up that are super deep, super tactical. They're meant to help you right now in your business and get some results. So let's talk about monthly recurring revenue and actually why you shouldn't rely on front end sales. So one of the number one problems a lot of people have is they're always getting new patients and they're always selling one thing. We're always trying to get new clients and sell one thing. Um, this has happened to me. And so I'm speaking from experience. I think there was a time, <clears throat> maybe 2015-ish, 2016, I was talking with Greg Todd and we were just like, yeah, we're, I'm sell we're selling courses. You know, I'm selling courses, people are buying courses. It's great, I'm selling the Cash PD Blueprint. I was selling a lot of the Cash PD toolkits. But every month, I was relying on more new sales. I had to go get more, more clients, more leads, um, and get more sales. Same thing happens in our clinic, where it's like, hey, I've got five patients better. All right, I gotta get, the bad news is, I gotta go now find five more new patients. And PTs come to me all the time, and the number one problem that they want solved is, I need more new patients. Someone just posted in our free group, The Cash PT Nation Today, I need some help with marketing strategies. I put together a marketing guide. It's 35marketingstrategies.com. So if you really need some more marketing help, um, you can check that out. The thing is, is you, if you're already making a couple thousand dollars a month or 10,000 or 50,000 a month, you probably don't need more marketing. Um, one of the things you do before you do marketing is we really need to work on kind of the back end systems, some sales things as well. A lot of people over years are like, we just want to run Facebook ads. Well, any marketer can bring you a bunch of leads, but if you can't convert the leads into a sale, you're in trouble. And if you can't get patients and clients and customers to buy from you again, it's also going to stunt your business. So I can't remember what the stat is. 10% of people, I, I probably should look this up, but I just thought of it. 10% of people out there on your leads list are going to buy from you now, or maybe 20%. But out of the people that buy from you, 80% of people would buy from you again, but most business owners don't go back to their leads list. So if you think about it this way, the people that have already purchased from you are eight times more likely to buy from you again than someone who's brand new and never heard from you. Okay, so that's why we should be going back, you know, one of the fastest ways to reactivate um, an email list or even just make some money is to run a special to people that have already purchased from you. So when people come into our Platinum Mastermind, one of the first things we do is we run uh, the PIF Tsunami and we run a new patient challenge. And these are simple um, simple scripts and strategies to use to reactivate and generate revenue from people that have already been customers so that people, when they come in the group, because it's pretty expensive, um, they feel like, yeah, oh, I, I made a win. I got my ROI right away in 30 days. Like that's it. So that's the whole idea. I mean, people have run this and uh, run this campaign and made $6,000 in one month, um, 4,000 from one email. I mean, shoot, Brandon Smith did 40 K in a week. Um, we just had someone else do, um, 9,000 in her first month, um, right out of school. Um, so that's, that's that strategy. And that's why some of those numbers are so big because these people have already, you know, trust these, uh, business owners. They trust the, um, product and the service, and they just are like, yeah, great, I'm going to buy again. And it takes a lot of pressure off to know that I can send an email and or make a couple phone calls or have a conversation and generate some revenue. So that's so that's why like that's one of the things. That's another. It's not even what this podcast is about, but I'm just trying to use this as an example because monthly recurring revenue 
is really helpful. So let me just explain what MRR is. It's MRR, monthly recurring revenue. It's when someone registers for a product or program that you have and they pay you automatically every month. Okay, great. All right, Aaron, how do I do that? Well, so Greg and I are talking and I was like, oh, I'm making all these uh, course sales, but people have a ton of questions. So what I did was I started a $97 a month um, membership program. And I've talked about on the podcast before, I can't remember which episode it was, it was probably the one uh, about, you know, um, when to quit. I think it was the recent one on like how to know when to quit. And I talked about these, these programs and how frustrating they were for me, how people almost weren't paying enough to get results. They definitely weren't showing up at $97 a month and they would, you know, so I would give them three months for free and then they would come in the cash PD blueprint, get three months for free. And then after, you know, four months, they, a lot of people stayed, but a lot of people were like, what are you doing charging me? I'm like, you click the box to add this. So like people don't listen. And so it was really hard. Um, but what it did was it added another 10 and then $20,000 a month to my revenue, which was dope. So I could make a bunch of course sales, but the course sales became the re like the, the became not the, I wouldn't call it a lost leader, but there, there was the one-time sale and then people stayed. Okay, so monthly recurring revenue is anything that you can do where people pay you every month, not just write a check to you every month, but it automatically comes out of their bank account. Okay, and there's a lot of ways to do it. I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about ways to do it in a minute. We're going to talk about the six ways to build monthly recurring revenue. Um, but I want to talk about a little bit more. What is a front end sale? Well, um, Right now, if you only have a course or you're only selling physical therapy, you don't even have a front end sale. You just have one product or service. But a front end sale is, is the thing that people buy on the front end. So you think about grocery stores. Um, the most uh, popular items in grocery stores are in the back, kind of on purpose. So meat and vegetables and cheese and milk. They're all the way in the, and the eggs. They're all the way in the back. So what do you have to do? You have to buy, walk through and past a bunch of other items and products. Something about the two grocery stores I know is like the meat, the eggs, the milk, um, the cheese, <laughs> they're all in the back. So I got to walk by uh, the expensive olive oil. You know, I got to walk by the herbs. I got to walk by the, the crackers that are $6 a box for a bunch of air. <laughs> So where's the grocery store make their money? They make their money not on these like items that people want to come in for, but they make items on all the other sales, like those last minute sales. It's a much bigger markup. So the front end sale is the thing that you start with. The back end sale are the things that people buy along the way that they also need as part of this journey. So let's think about it in context of physical therapy. You come in for PT and you pay your copay and the therapist it shows you the exercises, you need some TheraBands. So they charge you $5 for TheraBands. I mean, I would never charge someone $5 for TheraBands, but we're in a cash practice. I would give you the TheraBand, but you come into our practice and you need to do an exercise and you need a TheraCane or Rumble Roller or some great cook bands. And those things cost me, they cost me 20 to 25, even 30 something dollars. You come in for PT and then I'm gonna sell you one of those about $45 or so. I'll make a little bit of money. That's not where we, I mean, that, that's not the money that sends me on vacations, but it's another thing that these people need to complete their journey and we generate revenue on it and it helps. It certainly does. So there's back end sales. Um, so, so the front end sales, the thing that you're doing, the, the main thing that you're selling. But if you think about this, sometimes the main thing that you're selling right now isn't really the main thing that you're selling. Let's let's use Bedros for an example. He's the CEO of Fit Body Bootcamp. One of the main things Fit Body Bootcamp is selling is these fitness franchises. But and Bedros also has, I believe he's got interest or did have interest in the software that ran the facility. Um, he also has either a partnership or something in a lot of the they oh the nutritional supplements. So before COVID, I think they were partners in like one of these drink companies. Um, but then they also built a truly supplement company. And so people go and they, um, get a subscription to truly, and they find out because they're at fit body bootcamp and it's like he's created or helped build all the things that are part of what someone needs to stay fit and healthy, not just the, 
memberships. And even they have a mastermind for their Fit Body Bootcamp owners. So, you know, and, and a lot of those things pay, people are paying monthly revenue for. And there's the memberships. So it's monthly revenue every month rather than a one-time fee. Okay. So the problem with relying on front-end sales is you always need more new customers or clients or leads. And you don't know what your income is going to be like next month. Like I can guess, but I don't know how many new people are going to come in next month. But I can tell you how many people I have who owe me uh, payment for next month. I can know what my I know what my future MRR is going to be next month because I've got contracts with pretty much everyone that they need to give me 30 days notice. And so I can say, well, no one's giving me notice. So these this many people owe me this much money in 30 days. And that leads gives me a 30 day lead time, but I know they all won't all go away overnight. So one of the pro other problems is your income's up and down. And so how do you not just predict your income, but make it a little bit more even is instead of doing one time sales all the time for courses or physical therapy, we get people into long term programs. Okay, so if you're following me so far, let's talk about so so one of the solutions is to build a monthly recurring revenue program which is it's exactly what i did and what i've done um, in mul multiple ways um, in both of my businesses okay let's say you're selling yeah let's just say you're selling like even in-person con ed courses people come once but they're gonna have quite ongoing questions so maybe there's some kind of monthly subscription or mentorship. I mean, there's a lot of different things we can do here. A lot of things I've helped other people build. So let's talk about high ticket or low ticket. Okay, there are a couple different options. It's like, what well, do I charge a lot of money or a little bit of money? Your probably your first instinct and inclination is to undercharge. Okay, you're probably like, oh, no one would pay this. Okay, so just remember that. Like, that's probably what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, $49 a month or $250 a month or $2,000 a month. That's just way too much. I should charge very little. Okay, so number one, if you're like on Instagram and you're getting a 10% commission um, to give someone a 10% discount on something else, that's not MRR, right? And that's not, you might get a re recurring commission um, and maybe you get some, like I've got some affiliate things and I'll make a, you know, maybe a couple thousand dollars a month on affiliate deals that I've got and they just keep happening and I can promote their things and or not. Um, and they're sticky enough that I get some money in exchange, but that's also not my primary thing. <laughs> it, it just really isn't. I mean, just relying on that wouldn't, wouldn't feed my kids for the month. Um, so let's talk about high ticket or low ticket. So low ticket, there can be some prices that are low ticket that are great. And then high ticket. So low ticket, I'm going to say anything under 150 bucks, a hundred bucks. Okay, high ticket is really anything over probably fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars. Okay, is high ticket. High tickets also like per month or like to say per even if it's fifteen hundred a month, that's about fifteen thousand or more per year. Um, so that's pretty high ticket. But there's can also be hundred thousand dollar days and hundred thousand dollar years. So just know that there's no hard and fast rule. Then there's also kind of like this medium ticket, which is like the three hundred to $1,300, $1,200 type of price range. With a low ticket product or membership, you need a lot more people. So for instance, to make $10,000 a month in monthly recurring revenue, I'm gonna do some math while we're looking at, divide by let's say $49, that's 204 people. Like that's a lot of people. And it's not unreasonable to expect uh, Wes Watson who, um, I know through uh, Bedros and, and some of his events, um, spoke at an event a few years ago, and he had he was making $600,000 a month on a $49 Trainerize subscription. That wasn't his only product. I mean, the guy was making millions of a month. Um, and I think now he's even got more people in it. Like, I don't know what that is, but that's like thousands of people in there. So you want to make a million dollars, divide by 49 a month, you need 20,000 people in a $49 a month program. That's a million per month. Um, you want to make a million per year, divide by 12, divide by 49, you need 1,700 people. Okay, there's 1,700 people in the United States with back pain. There's 1,700 people in the United States with um, pelvic floor problems. There's 1,700 people in the United States who own a business. Like, that's absolutely reasonable. 
um, to expect. Just know that you need to get in touch with many more people to do a low ticket program than you do a high ticket program. So low ticket, you need more people. High ticket, you need less people, um, but it allows you to do a little bit higher touch and bigger results, but not necessarily spend more time. Okay, so one of the fallacies is that if you charge more, you need to spend more time with people. People don't care about, really don't care about your time, they care about results. So it's not how much time we spend together, it's the results I can help you with. Wouldn't you agree? Like, I mean, you might not like the way my breath smells. I don't know, I think it's fine. <laughs> but you don't wanna sit with me, but if I can give you a strategy to add $10,000 a month to your business, I mean, does it matter how much time we spend? Probably not. You know, especially if I can give you that strategy in 30 seconds and you implement it in 30 seconds, then under a minute you've added 10K to your business and then if we see each other and hang out, like who cares? So um, you kind of want to decide like where do you want to be? And probably the first price you decide is probably a little too low. Just know that. Um, and I know this from experience and you can hear this in one of the past episodes where I talked about my programs. The more people pay, the more they pay attention and the better results they get. So our mastermind members right now who are paying over $2,000 a month are getting massive results. Um, one member uh, just messaged, just showed today, Joey Seaforth, I think his first full month in business without working his other job, did 22K. Um, I mean, he started a few months ago, but you know, I mean, that's dope. Um, Katie Gerlinghouse uh, has a couple other PTs and she joined us doing, I think, 20, 2000 a month and then after her first month she was doing 27 and then um, her second full month after joining the mastermind um, she did 34,000 in a month so she added over she added $12,000 per month in about four and a half five weeks right 100% worth it 100% when I was charging similar people $97 a month they didn't show up to calls and they didn't do the work and they complained about the next $97 charge totally fine, um, but it wasn't important enough for them to do the work and get the results. So there's a big difference in that. And for some things, low ticket is great. There's a lot of low ticket subscriptions that you and I are both subscribed to, and we get a ton of value out of them. We just do. I mean, even $97 a month for something like ClickFunnels, I did that for years. You know, I, I, a boards app, I think it's 30 bucks a year. There's a voice recording app that I use. It's 30 bucks a year and it just charges me every year and I record all my coaching calls with Pedros using that. I mean, I use it all the time. It's great. So just know that there's big differences and, and um, a lot of opportunity here. By the way, if you want to work on your MRR program specifically and personally with me, then um, that might be a good you know, time where we need to hop on a call, like a strategy call together. Maybe you'd be great for a mastermind or some private one-on-one -on -one coaching. Just reach out to me. Um, okay, here's six ways to build monthly recurring revenue. I'm gonna go through them and then I'm trying to give you an example of each. Number one, a low ticket app. Number two, a low ticket coaching, like a low ticket coaching program. Number three, a low ticket membership. Similar, but different. Okay, and I'll explain. Um, four, medium ticket, like software, software or, uh, and then there's five, medium ticket therapy or coaching, or like a group program. And then six, high ticket, high ticket coaching, or high ticket like concierge service. Okay, those are six ways. All right, let's talk about them. A low ticket app. I mean, if there's a fitness app out there, I've heard more people use and have success with Trainerize. I've had um, coaching clients use it. Um, you know, I just told you Wes Watson uses it. I've looked, I, I don't use it because we don't do that type of therapy, but I went and looked at the pricing and the structure. And I've advised some clients to use it and it's great. I mean, for what you pay to use their service and what people will pay you and the experiences I've heard, it's great. So what would that be? That might be like uh, fitness, health coaching. Um, it could be in addition to physical therapy, you know, hey, when you're a patient, you get this for free. And then when you're no longer a patient, it's just $49 a month. And this is our extended program. So after your plan of care, you get on this, but during the plan of care, we get you on the program. Or maybe you have a program. Um, Joe Gambino is one of my clients and we built up something like this, where if you want to get Joe's like stretches and, um, therapy programs, I think he's got a course. Um, it was called like, it was a kin stretch course. And then, from the course, you would get a deal to get into the monthly uh, recurring membership thing, which was managed through Trainerize, and then we built that as MRR program. 
really dope. Um, number two, low ticket coaching. It's kind of different than an app. So an app is going to maybe do coaching, but I'm even thinking, um, like Brandon Smith's discord group. He has this, um, discord and he managed it, started using, um, Patreon. And I think at first it was, there was a $5 and a $10 a month option. And for five bucks a month, you got a free coffee once a month. And he put hundreds of people into this program. We started working together and he went from like, you know, a dozen people to 400 people in that group, low ticket coaching or Facebook group. So this might be business coaching, life coaching, health coaching. It could be, you know, fitness coaching, etc. You're not really using the app, but you're using coaching. And so they kind of go back and forth, but different, like, you know, like one is access to an app. The other is really access to a community and you to answer questions. Okay. And then there's a low ticket membership. So they're all memberships, but let's think about this, like a course, a gym membership. So maybe you own a physical therapy facility and for 50 bucks or a hundred bucks a month, or even 200 bucks a month, your patients can have access to your facility. Okay. This is something we did, uh, Robin Ringberg, who works with MMA fighters and, and people like that. And one of the things that we, um, sort of set up was a recovery membership where people get to come and they get to access to the Norma Tech boots. I don't know. It's like a hundred bucks a month and they get to come and it's hands off for you as the owner. It's like self-service. You know, you can think of like massage envy or stretch zone. You can go in for one stretch session, but if you sign up for their monthly membership, like massage club or whatever it is, and it's, you know, each massage becomes 55 bucks a month and you get one a month. Like that becomes like more of a membership. You're a member. Um, you know, and then there was like what I told you, the $97 mastermind I did. Was it really, it wasn't really a mastermind though. Um, but that was the first name that I had for it. When I went to, uh, 397, um, uh, we called it inner circle. And then I added my plat began, did the platinum mastermind did over a thousand dollars and dropped the inner circle. But anyways, I just want to say that there's a lot of, um, a lot of options there. It's more of a membership. There's using an app. There's using really a community and then there's like this membership, which can be in person or online for medium ticket. Okay. What's medium ticket? Well, I think there's a couple things there. Um, there's medium ticket software. So number four is medium ticket software. So something think about like click funnels, you know, it's $97 a month for up to 20 funnels. And then above that it's three nine seven a month and you have unlimited funnels and I'm pay three nine seven a month for click funnels. And I have been for years. So that's a software thing. Um, Brandon Smith and I have partnered together to build out a DPT preneur. He's a coaching client and, um, you know, partners because we're bringing a lot of our, uh, course members and my coaching clients over in to DPT preneur. And when you go in through my link, uh, you can get my snapshot, which includes all the emails I've written, the forms, the automations, website templates, etc. And it's a software and it's well worth it. It's an all in one software that does everything that. Click funnel, you know, it's like click funnels plus active campaign plus many chat plus Hootsuite plus type form plus Calendly plus, oh gosh, what else? Uh, oh, your website, your Weebly account, your WordPress, your blog, plus your Twilio, your text message, SMS, DM things. And, you know, you can save hundreds a month because all those things are together versus, you know, buying them a la carte like I have. Um, and it's, a software, but it's not really a software. ClickFunnels is they built the software and DPT preneurs we're, we're basically taking someone else's software and, and branding it and putting our own content and, um, what's it called? Uh, intellectual property in there to help it make you even faster. We're doing the support onboarding and et cetera. And it's a, it's like a medium ticket thing. It's, um, anywhere from 197 to 497, depending on the features you get and whether we do ads or AI, et cetera which is great. Okay. So that's number four. So some saw, I mean, you could do trainerize at 497 a month. I mean, the, the idea might be is more of a, so this is number five, medium ticket therapy, coaching, or a group for 497 a month, you get access to the course and you get, uh, the trainerize app that, you know, like you can white, white label trainerize as well. Um, and et cetera. And you get access to me and all these things. And, Really, it's similar. It's just you're charging a different price. Well, let's say medium ticket, you join the coaching program, you get the course for free. So instead of selling your course for a thousand bucks, people join your four hundred dollar a month coaching program and they get the course for free. 
I've done that. It's great. You know, I did find out that when people came in uh, for the course, they stayed for the course and they left. And so I made less money. Although I had some people moving forward, the average stay was three months, which is right when the course ended. And, you know, I went back to selling courses and did mastermind rather than course plus this other thing. So, um, but it may work for you and it's worked for a lot of people. So that was my inner circle. You joined my inner circle at three nine seven a month and you got the cash BD blueprint for free. Um, but what I realized is people after going from 97 to 397, people still didn't show up to calls. They were just there for the course, um, which is fine. Um, it's one of the ways I've put over a thousand people through that program. And, um, but it was a headache and frustrating for me. And like I said, you heard about that on the, one of the last episodes. So another medium ticket program we do is our wellness warrior program. You do a physical therapy plan of care in our clinic. And for some people, they just will benefit from coming in once a month or once a week ongoing or once a quarter. And based on their frequency of visit, we set up a monthly recurring charge for them. So most people come in once a month and it's $250 a month. And if you want to learn how we set up our wellness warrior program and how you can do it in your clinic, we go through that in our platinum mastermind um, membership area. When you get onboarded, that's one of the first things that we go through is how to create this, how to create your prices, programs, and set up a MRR program for your clinic. Another kind of medium ticket kind of group thing, just think about this is BNI. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a networking group and it's, uh, it's like four to 600 bucks a month. I can't remember what it is. I, I'm, I'm not actually a member. I've looked into it, but it just came to mind because people have mentioned it recently to me. You know, networking groups um, that are a couple hundred bucks a month. I mean, that's a monthly recurring revenue. Let's go back and like low ticket is, um, you know, those boxes that you get, like butcher box was more of a, you know, I paid for three years during COVID and luckily I got onto this in 2019. It was 150 bucks a month for, you know, I don't know, 25 pounds of meat. Fed the family. It was great. I actually stopped it because once I got divorced, uh, I wasn't making meals as much. I wasn't feeding as many people and it was too much. And they didn't have a plan that supported, you know, Aaron 50% of the time and, you know, the kids a few days a week. So I stopped, but uh, it was really great. Medium ticket. There's a lot of different things. You can get courses for free. It could be like uh, like the inner circle that I did, which was three nine seven a month. Um, you know, your wellness warrior program is ours is two fifty a month. You get one visit and access to tools, resources, a discount on any additional visits, etc. Something like BNI. Okay, so write down your ideas. What could you do? What could you offer people every month? What access could they do? And what could the price be? And then there's high ticket coaching, which is kind of like our platinum mastermind group, right? So it's like the higher ticket, people want to get more time or more money back. Remember, it's not always about the money. It's about how much time do you save as well. Um, so I've known some people who will do more concierge therapy and they'll fly around the country with someone. And, you know, sometimes they'll do it uh, kind of a la carte, but really it's more of like a monthly retainer for services. They just, you just pay a monthly retainer and you get access to my services when you need it or not. And it gives people a lot of security and there are people in the, around the country who will do that. You know, I mean, you hear about it a lot more through like professional athletes. Um, and, uh, there's really, there are people that are extremely busy, wealthy, successful business folk, and they would gladly pay 2,500 bucks a month to be able to fly into town and get access to you um, for therapy, even if it's only for an hour or two a week or hour or two a month. I know that those people exist because I've heard about it. And then there's things like our Platinum Mastermind or the, um, I was a member of Empire Mastermind a few years ago. Empire was um, a two-time payment, so it's a little different. It was uh, 50K for the year, um, something like, and I, I could think I made it in two payments, but, um, Taki's black belt group and boardroom, which I'm now a part of, those are monthly payments and you get set up on it and it just comes out and I get the value or not. I can show up if I want to or not. It's, you know, my participation's on me and that's the high ticket coaching. We even had a patient in our wellness warrior program who came in multiple times a week with her husband and they were paying us about $2,000 a month. And that's a high ticket membership. And it was really nice. So those are some of the um, examples and the different uh, things. I think if there was anything else that I wanted to explain or share with you about creating an MRR program is this one, create it, do it. And then here's the problems you're going to run into. What do you do when people want to cancel? What kind of agreement do you need to have with people? 
what uh, happens if someone doesn't come in for their visits or their payments default? What happens when someone complains or they didn't know that you were going to charge them and how to deal with all those things? You know, those are, or they write you hate emails because you charge them when they didn't want to, or their credit, what do you do when their credit card defaults? So there's a lot of other things. Like, I want you to have, those are all good problems. I want you to have those problems. You know, what happens when three or four people decide to quit all at the same time? Or they break their contract. How do you deal with that? If you have those problems, you've got money-making problems. So before I solve those problems, let's get your, your program started. And if you feel like you need some more help, just shoot me a DM, and we'll see what we can do to help you out. Um, I think that's it for today. Those were six ways to build monthly recurring revenue. I would love it if you would share with me somehow, whether it's a comment below this video or in a DM or shout out on Instagram through your stories. You know, what was most helpful for you about this? What, what did you learn? What do you know you already need to do? Um, and uh, keep me posted on the things that you build and I'll see you on, on the next show. Adios. Hey, what's up, it's Aaron. Thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to listen to the show. If you have an established PT business and you want to 10X your marketing, time, income, impact, and scale your business to multiple six or seven figures, then I'd love to invite you to join me or someone on my team for a free strategy and scale session. On this call, we'll help you get clear on your goals, identify the obstacles in your way, uncover the hidden opportunities in your business, and then we'll map out a three-step action plan so that you have more fun, help even more people, make even more money much quicker, and you'll leave the session feeling clear, confident, and excited about taking your physical therapy business to the next level. Sound good? If that's a yes, just DM me the word call over on Instagram at Aaron LeBauer, and I'll get back to you with all the details. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next week on the show.